Hello and welcome back everybody. Welcome to a day with me at home. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm outside, I'm here in my front yard. Here's my view. And these little sprouts that you see here are some sunflower seeds that I planted about a week ago. And I'm so surprised that they are actually growing. Look at that. I probably should have planted them in the earth, in the ground, but We'll see what happens. So this is my sunflower seeds after one week. It's actually been eight days of being sprinkled in the pot. And they're coming along beautifully. Um, I bought the little seed packets from the Home Depot last week. And this is what we have so far. So these sprouts are supposed to grow beautiful sunflowers that are about seven to nine feet tall so depending on how it goes i'm probably going to get some more and plant them in the ground itself and not in a plant pot so i'm very excited guys i can't wait so here we have it the beginning stage of my sunflower seeds yay for me all right so i'll keep you guys posted every week and we'll follow the progress together so until next time you guys take care stay safe and be well until we meet again, bye-bye. Now right over here, we have my beautiful papaya tree. Fully loaded again. Hopefully the birds don't get to them before we do. So that's right in the front yard in our driveway. And I'm not gonna count then. I don't want the, to jinx my fruit on my tree. So I'm not gonna count how many there are, but it's loaded, it's looking good. Papaya. And now right here, you guys, my beautiful and ever faithful gooseberry tree. Always fully loaded year round. It doesn't matter summer, winter, spring, or fall. That's my gooseberry tree. From top to bottom. Fully loaded. There we go. Look at that. There's gooseberries everywhere beautiful and now we're gonna go to the front of the house and check out the temple and so now we are at the front of the house and this is one of my majestic palms still growing beautifully a little bit of sun damage here so we'll see how it goes and I might take them back inside but for now they're still beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead look at my view guys that's the Western Resort right there. I'm gonna go ahead and walk to the front of my patio. And this is my tamarind tree. Look how close it is. I can touch them with my hand and pick them with fruit. So that is my tamarind tree. Look how tall it is. I'm gonna try to span the camera downstairs so you can see. Still going, still going, still going, still going. There's the staircase. All right, so we're gonna go down into the garden and look at my little lime tree. Look at that view, guys. If you peek between my tree, there's the ocean. All right, so let's go check out the other tree. But before we get downstairs, this is my moringa tree. It. All the blossoms are just beginning to come in now and this is really good and beneficial for high blood pressure, cholesterol, things like that. You can eat the leaves raw. Okay, so that's our moringa tree. So let's go down. This is my yard, you guys, and right over there, there's a lime tree. But the one that we're gonna check 
is right here, midway down the staircase. Our beautiful, nice, healthy leaves. Sometimes I pull the leaves and just chop them up for when I'm cooking. There's no fruit on it now, but it will be bearing pretty soon. So that's the length. And now the last fruit tree that I have in my yard is this beautiful little mango tree right here. There we have it. It's nice and vibrant and green, so hopefully one day it will grow up nice and big and tall and produce lots of fruit for us, okay? And that concludes the tour of my yard, you guys. So, we'll be doing weekly updates. I'm going to span up to the top of my tamarind tree. We'll be doing weekly updates to see how, especially my sunflowers, are coming along. Alright guys, it's a wrap for today. So I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.